Hi everyone. In this episode, I want to talk about narcissistic mortification. But first, I want to talk about the process leading up to a narcissist mortification. A narcissist's biggest fear is being exposed. A narcissist lives in a distorted version of reality. They are delusional. And that is why they behave the way that they do. They believe that they are the main character, the director, and we are all just playing roles in their fantasy. So when you attempt to hold a narcissist accountable for the bad things that they are doing to you, it causes an injury to them because number one, a narcissist doesn't think that they do anything wrong and that they should not be held accountable. You are there to serve their needs. So how dare you expect them to see you as autonomous or feel bad for any way that you may be feeling about their behavior. Each time you try to hold a narcissist accountable for something, it shatters the reality, their version of reality that they live in. And when you refuse to engage or internalize their bad behavior or the bad things that they have done to you, it basically you turn into a narcissistic mirror and you force the narcissist to see themselves for who they really are and their behavior and which then they have to internalize their own traumas and dysfunction when they are looking for you to internalize it for them. That is why a narcissist projects everything, how they feel about themselves onto you. Narcissists displace their anger onto you. Narcissists need to do all these things in order to regulate themselves. And when they no longer have someone to be a container to internalize all their traumas, all those childhood wounds, all their shame, all their fears, they then are forced to see themselves because when you refuse to engage or internalize what they are doing, they are able to see that maybe they are not the problem. They need you to act out of character. They need you to be the bad guy. They need everyone else to see you as the bad guy in order for them to feel better about themselves and the bad things that they are doing. Narcissists refuse to have accountability. So you can stand there and try to hold them accountable and try to hold them accountable and they will stonewall you. They will gaslight you. They will lie. They will do anything necessary to avoid accountability because accepting accountability shatters the distorted reality that they live in. And when this repeatedly happens to a narcissist, especially in front of others, they are faced with severe humiliation, very intense humiliation. And this level of humiliation when a narcissist is exposed for who they truly are is what ultimately causes narcissistic mortification. Mortification is such an important process in making a nar narcissist become self-aware of who they are, what they are doing, and for them to shatter their own version of reality and step into the version of reality that we all experience around them, not the version that they pull you into. Narcissists are so hard to expose, number one, because they surround themselves with enablers. They pull people into this reality. They prime people before they bring you around so that people feel some type of way about you. They have the narcissist perception of you before they get to know you. And this is a lot of how narcissists get away with the things that they do. They set you up for failure. They manufacture chaos. They tell everyone their perceptions of you so that when people see you interacting with the narcissist, you do look like the problem. But little do they, they don't understand that they've been triangulated. They've been gaslit. They don't know the full story. All they know is the narcissist version of the story, the narcissist distorted version that allows them to avoid accountability and always make you the bad guy, the bad person. They need you to react and look out of control. They need you to internalize what they're doing to you because they need you to believe it, which reinforces their delusion. And it also reinforces to the people around the narcissist that see, look, this person is the problem. So the more you t attempt to hold a narcissist accountable in front of people, the more they will try to make it seem like you're the problem, you're a harasser, you're harassing them when all you're trying to do is hold them accountable. But to them, that is harassment because that becomes exposure. It causes repeated injuries to their ego. 
So that is why narcissists surround themselves with enablers and people just like them, which is also why you can never seem to make any headway when a narcissist is running a smear campaign on you. Because narcissists surround themselves with people that they have already primed. They already have triangulated you with these people, and these people have only been witness to a reaction, to your reaction to their abuse and manipulations. And for a narcissist to start on a healing journey, to start on the path of self-awareness so that they can become rehabilitated or they can actually achieve some form of you know, stability in the real world, not just the delusion that they live in. They do have to go through a process of mortification and exposure. They have to be exposed to what is really going on. And the reason why it is so hard to mortify a narcissist so that you can attempt to help them become self-aware, so you can attempt to help them live a healthy life, is because, once again, they surround themselves with enablers. And the enablers are already convinced that you are the problem because the narcissist has primed them so well. The narcissist has set you up for failure. The narcissist has manufactured chaos around them to set you up to make you look like the problem. And because of this, people only see your reaction to the narcissist's manipulations and abuse, the dog whistling in public, the triangulation. Now you've been gaslit and psychologically abused repeatedly, isolated, bullied. Narcissist will do some of the most low, low things to people when you try to hold them accountable or they're forced to be held accountable. They need someone to blame and that has to be you, which is blame shifting and a manipulation tactic called Darvo. And I talk about this in another video, so I encourage you to look it up. Darvo is D-A-R-V-O. It stands for deny and deflect, attack the victim's character of the person they're attempting to hold accountable and reverse victim and offender roles so the narcissist is able to flip things on you when you're trying to hold them accountable and before you know it, you're apologizing to the narcissist for the bad things that they have done. And when it comes to narcissistic mortification, which is an extreme form of humiliation, but it's not done in an aggressive, abusive way, mortification is intended to help a narcissist become self-aware. It is there to shatter that delusion that they live in. And my research, I focus a great deal of my research on the mortification process and how important it is to, you know, to help a narcissist become self-aware so that they can live healthy lives, have healthier relationships, so that they can have the choice of beginning to take that path of healing, to want to modify their behavior, to want to learn about themselves to heal those wounds and yes it is very very rare that narcissists change so i'm not trying to give anyone false hope but what i'm trying to explain is that in order for a narcissist to begin to set out on that path of healing that self-awareness path they do have to experience mortification they do have to go through this process and the reason why it is so hard for a narcissist to be mortified is because again they surround themselves with enablers and people just like them who instead of listening to you or me saying hey I am telling you so and so needs help this is what is going on the narcissist has done such a good job as painting you as the villain in their story because to them and their delusion you are the villain they don't understand that people are not service providers. They do not understand that people are living, breathing, autonomous creatures. We're human beings. To a narcissist, you know, you're just, everything is transactional. So you're just an appliance to them. And when you break, you get discarded and replaced. And, replaced. and this is how the narcissist goes on and on with their cycle. And mortification is so important for a narcissist to reach some form of self-awareness to make the conscious choice. Hey, I don't want to live like this anymore. Hey, I think I might need help. Because when you mortify a narcissist by exposing them, they, they feel humiliation, shame. It brings everything to the surface that they have spent their whole lives hiding. Now, they've spent their whole lives creating masks to run from the shame, to run from the traumas, to run from their childhood 
wounds. Ultimately, it's really sad because in order to mortify a narcissist, to bring forth their humiliation and their shame, them childhood wounds, you know, to get them to face themselves, it's just, it's sad because it doesn't matter how much you want to help them if everyone they're surrounded with is an enabler or helping with the dysfunction. And it, again, if you've been with a narcissist, you know all those enablers help with the smear campaigns, help with the bullying, and help with your isolation. And so by the time you reach out to people, once you're done just reaching out because you're defending yourself and reacting to the narcissist abuse, but once you are so far along on your healing journey or wherever you're at and you come to the realization of what a narcissist is and what it entails, it's so sad to know that they can't possibly get helped because they're surrounded with the dysfunction. A person cannot get better in that environment. A person cannot get better being enabled by everyone in agreement with abusive, manipulative behavior or helping a narcissist isolate a person. You can't heal like that. And as you know, on your healing journey, you absolutely have to remove yourself from the environment, from the stimulus, from the thing that's creating your addiction to that trauma bond, which is the narcissist. The cycle of the addiction with the narcissist, with the trauma bond, because you don't know what's going on, but the narcissist knows what they're doing to you and they're doing it on purpose. So it just, it's so sad once you finally heal from that and you get out of that and you know that there's absolutely nothing you can do even if you wanted to help the narcissist get better because how are you going to get all the enablers, the family members, everyone around the narcissist to actually listen to what you're saying because they already think you're crazy. They already think you're the problem. So if you go over there and start talking about narcissists, isn't that they... The narcissist has already convinced them that you are the problem. All the ex sources of supply believe you're the problem. All the new sources of supply believe you're the problem. Just like when you were the new supply, the narcissist told you all their exes were the problem. If the narcissist cheated on you with somebody new, discarded you, got a new supply, then came back and hoovered you because that didn't work out, then all of a sudden that supply the narcissist left you for is now the problem because it's never them. So how do you you know, help someone when no one around the narcissist will help you or listen to you because they don't want to take any accountability. So when it comes to mortification, it's an extreme humiliation. It's like death to the ego. It shatters everything that the narcissist ever knew or thought was rea their version of reality. It shatters everything about it and they don't understand what's happening. But that's really all them childhood wounds will be resurfaced because you pull the mask down, you expose them, and they've worked so hard. They've spent their entire lives manufacturing personalities, you know, grooming people to play a role in their shared fantasy, which they pull you into. In case you haven't heard any of my other episodes, the reason why I'm so focused on mortification is because when I first set out on this journey, on my research, I was on a mission to heal the narcissist that I dated. I mean, I was on a mission to do that, which ultimately resulted in, the, in my healing process. And it's definitely, you know, everybody goes through a process of mortification. When a narcissist abuses you and basically shocks you awake to the truth, that is a process of mortification because you have to come to realize the fact that everything you thought you knew about that relationship and that person was a lie. Maybe the things, the people you knew in your life, your parents, after that narcissist wakes you up, shocks you awake from their abuse, you start to see people for who they really are and what they were really doing to you throughout your life. And so that too is also a process of mortification because you know, you're just, you're so traumatized. You're so you feel a sense of humiliation, your shame, all those things come bubbling up because the narcissist exploits those things about you. They exploit what you feel are vulnerabilities. So we all go through that process. The narcissist will mortify you and wake you up. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really appreciate the support and all of you listening. Please stay safe, stay strong, and keep getting the knowledge. You are all going to be amazing.